Guys, Coach Joe here at the Lions Den, and this last week has been so crazy. I've been training like a madman. Uh, to be honest with you, I have been doing both Olympic lifting and strongman. I was gonna try to squeeze in an Olympic lifting competition this Saturday, but I'm an idiot and I missed the registration deadline. Super stupid on my end, but what it did give me was a chance to really train this week. Uh, get my technique better. I ended up not being that great in the beginning of the week and progressively got better uh, just because I was so focused on strongman. I do have a strongman competition October 14th, which I'm really excited about. So that's just what's going on with me in training. Uh, I'm just trying to grow the business right now. Tomorrow, I'm going to be coaching a weightlifter in a weightlifting meet. That's my first one ever coaching somebody. So that's really cool. And then another big event or news is that Tuesday, my collab with Alan Thrall comes out on his channel on The Jerk. I'm so grateful. That is so cool that somebody like Alan would even give me the opportunity to, to put a video out. So thank you so much, Alan. Hopefully all you guys will watch that video, subscribe or comment, okay? Make sure that you take away all the haters because I ain't got time for that business. No hater rate in my life. No way, Jose. Yeah, got a haircut. That was cool. I like it. Thanks, Steph. That's my client. She cut my hair. She's amazing. So the video you guys are about to watch is just going to be my Olympic lifting training from this past week. I have a lot of Olympic lifting fans and they're like, hey man, I want to see more weight lifting. So I'm going to throw it in there for you. Uh, just check it out. I start sucking and then get better kind of, I don't know. I feel like I just kind of suck right now, but I'm doing the best I can. I'm training and that is what matters. All right. That's what matters. Then the next video will be all the regular training I was doing on top of this. So I was doing both, doing two-a-days. It was nuts. My central nervous system is fried. Woo! It's going to be a fantastic recap video. Let's go. Alrighty, my friends. So as you know, I have a weightlifting background, and I total around 340 kilos on an amazing day. Uh, I wasn't doing so hot this week just because I haven't really been putting the time into it, which I know that I should, and it showed. So here's me just kind of warming up with the barbell. That is 35 pounds on each side. Now I'm at 135. And if you watch me or know me, I love pulls. I love clean pulls. I love snatch pulls. The reason I like them is because it's such a good pre-movement to the actual lift. So when you're doing your pull, you can feel if something is wrong or you need to adjust. Uh, so I like to always add them, especially in the beginning of the training, just loosening everything up, make sure my pull is crisp, I'm getting the bar into my hips or whatever adjustments I need to make are all based off of that pull. So I work up to, this is 2.05 right now. I'm really not good with kilos. Kilos is like a different language. Uh, and I don't speak it that well. So if you need kilos, just divide anything by 2.2 and that will be your answer, my friends. But um, the, really the, the weirdest part for me has been my jerk. My jerk has been feeling off. So I really need to put more practice into my jerk. This is 225, uh, but it starts to get wacky when I get up to around 345, uh, but you won't see in this training session just because I really was just trying to dial in that clean and the jerk was lighter weight and intensity. So I think the highest I work up to is a 295 uh, clean and jerk in this video. But you can see me doing those pulls. Those, those pulls are just to make sure my form and my technique is on point. Going for the real deal. I was a little on my toes, so I stepped forward. Not a big deal. And then jerking it out. So this is the same weight. I want to hit another one just to crispen up that jerk. And then this is 275. So I remember when I did this session, I did a lot of sets, probably four or five with uh, 275. And I was playing around, you know, doing a pull, then a clean and a jerk. I predominantly am a split jerker too. By the way, if you guys are wondering, I don't really like push jerking. I never have in a competition. I've always just naturally been more towards the split. And then here is 295. So I think I feel pretty good with this. Yeah, I felt solid. 
and then I hit it again. So, see what we got going on here. Always keep your elbows up, guys, especially pre-jerk. You never want your elbows to drop. You will definitely probably miss the jerk if your elbows drop. And these are all powers, by the way. So if you didn't know what a power clean was, it's when you don't break below parallel with your pull, so you don't drop into that squat. Um, sometimes you try to fight it, but not on the snatches. So, actually, I lied. This was an every minute on the minute for 10 minutes, so you can watch this complex. So power clean to then a hang power clean, and then you're gonna finish with one jerk, and that's 225. So I did that on the minute for 10 minutes. Now we're doing snatches. And this is 185. This was an awful day of snatching. And the reason I think that is because I did so many cleans and clean work before this that I was just maxed out. But my mind was telling me to keep going. My body was saying, uh, not today, my friend. That's 205. 225, that felt good. Good quick bar speed. The whole uh, title of this video right now is gonna be Speed Kills because you need to be fast and have speed if you wanna be a weightlifter. You definitely have to be strong, but you need speed and strength. Almost went through the wall by accident. Hit it again because, oh man, what is going on? Pinocchio arms, look like a puppet. <laughs> I'm so mad. Uh, redemption though is here. This is a 295 snatch, but my legs are super shaky. Now, I want to tell you, um, the reason, oh, they ain't getting 315. No way, Jose. And then there's up, not again. You suck, just go home. You're a, you're a disgrace to the weightlifting community. Just do some pulls, because you're embarrassed. That's what I do. But anyway, back to the point which I was gonna say is I've been doing a lot more powering because I'm having crazy knee tendonitis uh, for my previous training cycle. Um, so my knees are just so banged up. I'm getting massages every week and really just trying to get them better. Uh, this is my buddy JVH Performance's place. So that's the guy I told you about in the intro. These are some of his athletes. And this is a day where I was feeling really good. I literally showed up, had to pick up those blue jerk blocks, which you can see right there. Uh, I was buying them off of him. And I got a little snatch session in because I could only stay there for like 45 minutes because traffic was too bad before I had to open the gym. Um, but I felt phenomenal and this is ooh, that is speed so just pay attention to this real quick watch the speed that this bar has that is what you want you know you, you always want that bar speed to remain the same essentially once you get it to the hips um, but yeah so I had a little bit of time there wasn't any cleaning jerks prior so this is what it looks like when I just focus on one movement instead of doing both and right now we're at 185 And this dude is an absolute monster. He's throwing up crazy weight for his body weight for sure. And then now we're at 205. So I'm doing doubles. I did a lot of doubles, a couple triples, then some doubles. Uh, and then I just worked heavier singles. But you can see how fast he's getting under the bar. So like I said, th this whole thing is about speed, guys. You really have to develop speed. And the way you do that is lighter weight tons and tons of reps and then gradually increase the weight while maintaining the bar speed. Because if you're just trying to throw up heavy weight and your bar speed is slow and you can't get into the hips properly, you're really never gonna improve or make those lifts. So it's all about the technique work with the lighter weight and gradually increasing. Now this is uh, one of the coaches he has who is an absolute beast. This dude cranked out, I didn't even catch the whole thing. It was like two minutes worth of those squats. So that was 255 right there, uh, which felt really good. I was a little on my toes, so I did it again. And then had a nice, solid, sticky landing. This is 275, so he's gonna jerk the heck out of this. Look at that, what a, what a beast. Whew. Oh, session two, cleaning jerk. So when I got back, I ended up wanting to do some cleaning jerks and then use the jerk blocks that I just had purchased. So uh, this was my session two, same day, but I had a little bit more time to kind of recoup myself. Uh, this session wasn't the greatest, but I got it done. So that was 135. 
and then here is 185 and as you can see these are squat cleans I'm trying to feel how my knees are feeling uh, it feels good while I lift because my adrenaline is high and then definitely just the next day or after I'm lifting they ache like crazy so like I said I'm getting those massages I'm doing ART therapy uh, and lots of recovery methods to get my knees back because they feel really shaky and unstable and I think it's just due to being really tight around the kneecap and my IT bands are pretty locked up right now. And we got 225. So that felt really good in that cell. 225 is a, is a nice weight for me to really work on technique. And here's 275. Now we're at 295. So what you'll notice and what I noticed from watching the video is when I get heavier, I should actually bring my feet in for the jerk. And what I do is I keep them out a little too wide. And I think that's really what messed up my dip on my jerk when I go for uh, 365. But this is 345 right now. Felt good. And then this is a weird jerk. My foot like hit the the wood or something. It looks really odd. Ready? Here we go. It's like, I don't really know what happened. It still would count, definitely, but it like, I caught the wood. Now here's 365. Now watch my feet. I, my feet are too wide and they're too pointed out. So this dip is all messed up because my feet are too wide. So I just know that's not going to happen. I couldn't get my head through. I figured that was probably the heaviest I would go for that day and then just worked on the jerks with 225 on the jerk blocks, which are awesome. So thank you, John from JVH. And I was just hitting doubles uh, with 225 for about five sets. And that is pretty much it, my friends. So there you have it. Tons of Olympic lifting this week, along with all my other training, which will be on the next video. I just didn't want to bore you too long. But if you have any questions or you enjoyed this video, please subscribe to the channel. Give it a thumbs up. Make sure to watch that Alan Thrall collab later.